These soles are freaking amazing. Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo and I'm a mobile addict. I'm in Bindlach, Germany. There's an annual power slide meeting happening here and there's a lot more people here so I'll get a lot more content but today I'm going to review these and these are the gods Frankie Morales skate. Basically, I hadn't, I didn't have access to these skates before but I'm quite excited about it. I really like the way they look, that's the first thing but they remind me a little bit of the USD carbon skates. I guess the base is the same. Um, I would, I don't really know if it's a carbon construction or it's a carbon free. It's a carbon free skate. I don't really know. You know why? Because the whole thing is covered, but it's covered with this super thick material, which is kind of spongy. It's kind of like here in the back. It's kind of like rubbery. And then on top of this rubbery thing, there's this leather all the way around it. From what I know, this is based on a Nike shoe. It should be like a Jordan because usually Frankie Morales skates are based on Jordan shoes. What I do know is that they look super sick. It's, it's, it looks like super high quality leather. And then it has like these 45 degree strap. The cuff reminds me of the Tau. I think it's the same cuff that comes on the Tau skates from Power Slide, which is a super, super supportive cuff. This cuff is a lot more supportive than the one that used to come on the carbon skates. At least the ones that I add, because it has these little things here on the side that are bented and makes the cuff a lot stronger. It has a metal buckle. Different colors, but here it has like, I don't know if you can check if you can see it here. It's kind of like a rub. It, it kind of reminds, I would say it looks like snake skin. I don't know. And then again, it has these rubbery material here on the side this little insert that is like this rubbery material before i go to the what i think it's the highlight of this skate let me just it says gods in front and then down the the thong it says frankie no it says gods in front and then down the thong there's some letters saying morales and then in the back it says frankie morales in gods we trust i like the, the difference between the red to the black in the back like i said before from that material like that rubber material to the leather and then this thing on top it's it's again another different material which is i don't know what that is but it's cool it's cool some of the skates have this little handle too short then you can't really put your fingers in it it's like hard these ones are actually you can't even put two fingers in it by the way these are the skates that b3 is using on the game of skate that is playing against me now I think it's cheating because check this out. These soles are freaking amazing. The sole plates that these skates come with, they're like super square, like <laughs> kind of like industrial, I would say, maybe like a, a military sole plate. I wouldn't, I don't know how to call it. It has this little cross here between the, the UFS channel, but now the grooves, the groove that you have on this side is different from the groove that you have on that side. This is the outside of the skate, this is the inside of the skate. You usually don't use the inside groove for nothing. But the outside groove, whenever you do a backslide, or whenever, backslide is sliding this way, torque is sliding that way. Whenever you do a backslide or a torque, you can use this. But what they did with this, is that the two grooves are different. Basically, if you use the plate like this, or if you use the plate like that, it would be, one of them would be easier to do backslides than the other, because one of these grooves is a little bit deeper than the other. But on both sides, the negative and the sole, I can't, I don't even know if I can call it negative and sole, because I, would, I will just call it sole, because it's a symmetrical, so you can actually just turn it from one side to the other. It has some, the sole plate also has these little cuts here, which allow you to put some bigger wheels. I don't think you can put the Wish with 72s without still shaving a little bit, but I don't think that's the problem at all. I do know that this soap plate seems like super solid and you'll for sure, even if you skate freestyle, you'll feel your skate like proper hard, like stiff, which is a cool thing. And that's it. The materials look super high quality. I don't know, man. I feel tempted to skate them. Should I? Should I skate this? Or should I skate any other USD skate? You let me know. Tell me, should I skate this or should I skate any other USD skate? I love my G-Boots, so tell me. And now that we're done, you tell me. Did you like this video? Let me know if you like them. If you like this video by giving me some thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me some thumbs down. But let me know what you didn't like about this video. What did I do wrong here? Other than that, 
Well, don't forget to subscribe to the channel while I'm here in Germany. I'm gonna be doing some more reviews on skates. Let me show you what I got here with me, really fast. Doop, doop. You saw what that is? I'm gonna make a review on that skate too. And again, subscribe to the channel, click on that bell button, and more important than anything else, just don't forget why we all started skating. And that is because it's fun. Cheers guys, and see you soon.